The traffic department of the Royal Grenada Police Force says there will be heightened patrols throughout the island as part of the RGPF's Yuletide operations. This as officers are concerned about the increase in road accidents and road fatality so far this year. Constable Troy Paul of the traffic department explained to members of the media on Friday that road accidents for 2022 has exceeded the 2021 statistics by nearly 300 with fatalities at almost 10. He said officers will be deployed and will be equipped to conduct breathalyzer tests and other examinations to ensure drivers are exercising due care and attention. We at the traffic department, um, we have device, um, device uh, operation for the Yuletide season and one of those is heightening in uh, patrols, food patrols, mobile patrols, and also motorcycle patrols in and around the town of St. George's and all our towns in Grenada. With those patrols, you will see speed checks will be at various places, um, checking, ensuring that persons do not exceed the speed limit, and also um, on accident scenes, persons will be subjected to breathalyzer tests. Officer in charge of crimes, Superintendent Vanny Cohen, says the Yuletide operations will activate all security measures for the season to ensure peace and safety. He is concerned that if measures aren't in place to curb the worrying trend of robberies and crimes, it will affect the country's ability to attract foreign investment and revenue. You will see a greater security presence in our towns and communities as we heighten our awareness and responses to the challenges that we currently face. We may disrupt your desire to traverse the country without delays, but this becomes necessary in order to keep you safe. We have activated all of our security measures and are confident in our ability to keep Grenada and Grenadians safe during this period. Our campaign against loud music in homes and vehicles campaign against speeding, campaign against unlawful dark tint and unregulated lights and other infringements and additions to motor vehicles, or zero tolerance policies for offensive weapons, including unlawful firearms and ammunition, or campaign against drunk driving, and our zero tolerance in illegal drugs.